So welcome to the Decision Making Intelligent Agent Robot using RoboCode. My name is Andrew Trout. First off, I'd just like to explain what an intelligent agent is. Um, this is kind of how my robot acts as an intelligent agent. Um, as you can see at the top, it's got the world environment, which is the tank or robot battle space, the RoboCode battle space, and um, I'm getting percepts and observation from scanned robots events, information about my robot, and then whether I hit or missed and those events that get fired. Um, I then do um, go to the planning decision box. Um, I extrapolate observation data, evaluate strategies and goals, and then move on to actuators and actions where I then move the robot gun or radar, whether I fire the gun and I scan the radar. And that's kind of how an intelligent agent cycle works. First off, I'd like to point out that my robot extends advanced robot and not just regular RoboCode robot. Um, this allows um, my robot to have non-blocking calls. So normally, if you just extended robot, when you told it to move forward, it would have to complete that task before allowing another task to start. Advanced robots just non-blocking, so that means that I can tell it to move forward and turn, and it'll try and do both at the same time in the same turn if it can, um, which actually helps the smoothness of the robot a lot. Um, my next line, I have my instantiation of my code that is the strategy evaluator. Um, this keeps um, my robot as an object, but it's the thing that's going to be evaluating all my agent strategies. Um, so then we get to the run method. This is my robot's default behavior. It's what it's going to do when it's not doing anything else. Um, so the first thing I do um, in the default behavior is just make the radar and gun turning independent and make the gun and robot turning independent. This allows for my radar to move as fast as it can and my gun for it to move as fast as it can without being affected by um, if the robot's turning or the gun's turning and so on. Next I just have a while loop. So this is what the robot's going to be doing when it's not doing anything and that's just turning the radar 360 degrees and scanning. Um, when it does scan, we're going to get an event fired called on scanned robot. This just means that I saw a robot. My robot saw a robot. So what's going to happen is I'm going to update the threat list in my strategy evaluator with this new name and then tell it false, which means I didn't do any damage. So um, this just means that the robot I just um, found didn't do any damage to me. That's how I found him. Um, so this first if statement is just going to evaluate the greatest threat. If I didn't have one, it's going to return null. So I'm just going to continue executing the strategies against the threat that I just scanned. However, if I did find one, I'm then going to check to see if that threat is the actual threat that I just scanned. And if so, then I'll execute strategies against that threat. If it's not, if I just scanned some other robot that isn't my greatest threat, I'll just try and shoot him if it's a good idea. Next thing on the event list is on hit by bullet. So this means I was just hit by a bullet or my robot was just hit by a bullet. Um, when this happens, all I do is update the threat list and give a true, which means that this threat just did damage to me. So he's probably um, getting worse on my list. As, as they hit me more, they're more likely to become my greatest threat. Um, this event is my bullet hit, so that means I just hit another robot. Um, and because of this, I can make some um, assumptions on my shooting strategies. So if the robot, if I have a greatest threat and the robot I just hit was the greatest threat, that means that um, I had a good hit and I should tell that to my shooting direction strategy, meaning I actually did something well, I did something right, and I'm going to use that to evaluate if I should change shooting direction strategies or not. If I keep hitting them, probably not. Next event is on bullet list, <laughs> on bullet missed. 
um, this is where I'm just going to say that I missed. So my shooting direction strategy is probably not working, so I set a false, meaning that I didn't hit my intended target. Um, if I hit a wall, I just print hit wall. There's nothing I do to change strategies at the moment when I hit a wall. Um, if I hit a robot, however, I am going to update the threat list and give uh, a true to did damage over there also saying this threat could be ramming me so maybe I want to uh, care about him a little more than other threats also. Um, and then I also evaluate my movement direction strategy which usually just is going to change directions for me but I'll get to what the strategy evaluator does in a moment here. And last but not least my last event is on robot death. Um, when a robot dies all I'm going to do is remove threat from my um, threat list. So this is just going to basically remove it from my threat list and make sure that the greatest threat um, is hopefully no longer this threat because he just died. So that's it for the base of um, the tro, tro agent robot code. So hopefully that helps. So welcome to RoboCode. This is RoboCode. Um, first thing you're going to do is create a new battle. I'm going to add my agent robot and a couple other robots in here. And we are going to start the battle. Now it's important to note um, this slider here. This allows me to control the time. So um, as I move it forward, where the time moves faster, move it back, the time goes slower. Um, Tro Agent Robot, this you can just click and I can see um, the debug output for my robot compared to all the other robots. As you can see, I've already done some things like found a greatest threat, the fire robot up here, and then all of a sudden I change to the corners robot, meaning the corners robot probably just hit me. And so now I'm going to try and scan him and destroy him. So we can kind of watch this play out pretty quickly. Um, I'm trying to shoot the corners robot, doing a pretty decent job. Um, I've gotten a hit a few times by the fire. I just destroyed the corners. Now I'm trying to shoot the fire robot. Um, every time I'm he's firing, I'm trying to dodge his bullet. Um, still getting hit by this crazy robot a few times, but it's not. Um, he hasn't hit me as much as the fire robot, so I'm concentrating on the fire robot. Now all of a sudden, I'm trying to hit crazy. Um, missed a few times. Now all of a sudden, you can see my changing strategy. I start to shoot for the future position. I ended up killing him. So um, overall, the robot works pretty well. There's plenty more to add, but um, in general, um, most of the time it's going to work really well. You can also see kind of the bullets that I shoot are getting larger as I get um, closer or if the uh, um, the, ro the enemy robot is stopped. Um, so some of these are actually pretty big even though I'm a little further away. Um, but that takes energy or life from me so to shoot those um, bigger bullets. You can see actually that one a few of them are really, really tiny because the guy's moving away from me or moving at high speeds and is already far away. So all those things are affecting. Um, actually, you can see I'm changing strategies a lot on this crazy guy. It's just really hard for me to hit him um, right now, but I'm trying. He He randomly moves in a lot of different directions, so but I think eventually, hopefully I will take him out. But I'm kind of stuck in the corner, it seems like here. Every time I'm trying to dodge, I'm hitting a wall, which is taking away a lot of energy. And that's one of the things I would still need to work on it if I uh, improve this code is not getting, making sure I don't get stuck in the walls. I tried to do something on one of my previous robots doing that, but um, I would have to uh, spend a lot more time than the time I had for this project. So I'm probably still going to kill him. It looks like it's going to be 
pretty close. Um, but because crazy is changing velocity a lot, um, it, I think my strategies are saying it's good to just keep shooting because he's close or changing strategies so often. Um, so yeah, this might go down to the wire. But there you go, left with 2.3 left, but I still got him in the end. Um, so I'm just gonna let this play through. The nice thing about RoboCode is at the end of 10 rounds, you get um, this nice results page. Um, as you can see, my Tro Agent Robot um, was ranked first. Um, I have a total score, and you can see how it compared to the other sample robots. My survival score compared to survival bonus, how much bullet damage I did, which is a lot more than all the sample robots. Um, bullet bonus, um, how many times I rammed another robot, um, and how many times I got first, um, second and third. As you can see, I got first every single time for every single round, so I'd say this was pretty good. Anyway, that's it for the project, so hope you enjoyed that little demo and going over the code with me.